The movie is called The Bandit. I don't see any um, production costs on it, and I don't see any um, uh, box office on it. But it happened by an um, American criminal who escaped from a minimum security jail in the United States and crossed into Canada. And to supplement his not having a job, he robbed banks. Each bank he robbed, he had a hat, uh, glasses, nose, beard, mouth, you know, thing like that. The different clothes, he would go in there <clears throat> rob a bank, walk into an alley, get rid of his uh, oversight thing, and become a, d a different person with a suitcase. And he found out he could cross Canada with that suitcase full of money because nobody looked inside it. They didn't put it through x-ray, not for domestic. So he could, you know, rob a bank, fly home, and uh, show that he could do it. Then he got involved with a big time crook named Tommy K. And basically got involved with Tommy K because of protection. And to prove that he could rob a bank, he said, within three minutes I can rob that bank across, across there. And say, what do you mean rob a bank? Yes. He went out the front door, he went into a potty, potty thing, um, walked into a bank in a costume, and came in through the guy's back door with bundles of money. He said, I want a percentage of this, I, got, I need your protection. He did it all across Canada. Well, all of his stuff was small, you know. He only took a few million all the time. He said he averaged twenty thousand dollars every time he hit a bank. But he would hit a bank and he flew out of the he chartered a private plane and he flew out of the city he robbed. He would go back every so often and rob the same thing. And they just little stuff. It's all over. But they couldn't figure out who he was. They knew it was, you know, we got his hide. They said, is this the guy? I don't know. But um, he was very curious, didn't do any real arm robbery. <laughs> they just robbed the bank. Very courteous to the teller. Because he, did, he what he did he was he cased the bank ahead of time. He walked in there with a phony ID saying he's uh, with security here and security there. Um, and he knew knew the layout. He knew where all the alarms were, the names of the tellers, and the, and the whole bit like that. And he was very curious when he was robbing a bank. And he robbed something like 50 of them? No, of course, they, they, they started asking questions, a bank robber here and a bank robber there. He had these disguises on. Sometimes he had the same disguises in different cities and saying, who is this guy? And they started looking for him. And um, it wasn't big halls. It was small, all small stuff. But um, Tommy K uh, provided him with protection. And then Tommy K said, <clears throat> How would you like to hit something big? A jewelry store. You just take everything that's sitting in the, in the case there, all the jewelry in the case, and you take him with you. I always work alone. No, no, you take him, and you could rob the jewelry store. And he did. He robbed the jewelry store with the other guy. Not a very smart but guy. But... Um, they made off with a lot of jewelry, and um, the uh, detective was in on him, but they couldn't find him. He vanished. He moved to another part of the country with a wife and a baby, and another one on the way. When he was finally caught, 
and all his banks, and they, they added it up, and they said, 20 years in jail. But he um, kept up to his daughter. He saw that, gee, his daughters were the first Gelvin to graduate from high school. Yeah. So, there's, you know, but um, all the people that were involved in it, they show that he and his wife uh, divorced. Um, the detective marriage was in tr trouble too. He divorced. A lot of them just faded from sight. Uh, that's it. It's happy ending. Happy ending. Oh well. <laughs>